Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barre inclinada schedule. 番組は多言語放送です。放送予定は「スプリームマスター TV.com」スラッシュスケジュール「There's no secret in my life except I need to be away to be alone to, to be more concentrating yeah on the on the world problems and to secure more peace and more vegan population」Please keep watching to find out more Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English. With subtitles in Arabic, Olasis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Italian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Rana Mim means hello in Chokese, one of the regional languages of the Federated States of Micronesia. My name is Anaru. The splendid people of Micronesia are grateful for your everlasting love and attention to preserve the pristine nature. Formed in 1979, The Federated States of Micronesia is a country of more than 600 islands. Located north of Papua New Guinea and Solomon Islands in the Western Pacific Ocean, the island's four states are represented on the nation's flag as four white stars. The blue background symbolizes the ocean, which the Micronesian people say connects them all. These beautiful tropical islands. Are surrounded by some 480 species of coral reef, representing 60% of all the coral species in the world. Many types of fish live in the coastal waters, as well as the dugong, a mammal that feeds on sea grasses. A rich ecological diversity. Of both plants and animals, also abounds in the island's many mountains, rainforests, coastal mangroves, and caves. These are home to fruit bats and birds such as warblers, swifts, cockatoos, and the Pompeii lorikeet. The Federated States of Micronesia is known for its exceptional Pompeii and paper and very abundant types. Of tropical fruit, the islands were believed to be first inhabited 3,000 years ago. Today's Micronesians are greatly diversified in culture, with 17 indigenous languages still in popular use across the islands. Many indigenous people still live traditional lifestyles. Including food preparation techniques, ceremonial gatherings, and work skills. Community meeting houses are built by hand in distinctive architectural style, all with local materials. The islanders have also maintained their astonishing canoe building tradition, which includes the ability to navigate without instruments. We are delighted to share the extraordinarily scenic Micronesia with you, awesome viewers. We wish you progress in your spiritual practice as you reach Nirvana.
For decades, Supreme Master Ching Hai has illuminated our world with her divine teachings. A fully enlightened master, she imparts the Kuan Yin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within, to achieve in one lifetime eternal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. The Kuan Yin method has been practiced by all enlightened masters, such as the worshipped World Honored One, Shakyamuni Buddha, the worshipped Son of God, Jesus Christ, the venerated master and philosopher, Confucius, the venerated Lord Krishna, the venerated master and philosopher, Lao Tzu, the venerated Lord Mahavira, the beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, and many more. Supreme Master Ching Hai emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others, and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on earth. An extraordinarily living example of compassion, she lovingly and regularly sends material and financial assistance to refugees, the homeless, natural disaster victims, and others needing relief. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thanks all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. Supreme Master Ching Hai receives love and recognition from various organizations, media, governments, individuals, and many awards, such as the 2006 Gusi Peace Prize, considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East, the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mahavid Award in 2008, February 22nd and October 25th, but proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day, an honorary citizen of the United States, etc., and has been honored throughout the years with numerous other awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds.
etc. We apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thanks all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. A true voice for our beautiful animal friends, Supreme Master Ching Hai promotes the peaceful, loving, plant-based diet and envisions, with humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life, a tranquil and glorious all-vegan world where animals and people live in respectful harmony. Her initiatives included alternative living flyers distribution, the international vegan restaurants, loving hot, vegan food companies, vegan fur products, Supreme Master Television, as well as writing and speaking to influential government and media leaders, participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we are aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal-friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Supreme Master Ching Hai has traveled worldwide and held discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. In another work-related phone call on Tuesday, December 15, 2020, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai spent precious time to share her love and wisdom, answering some questions that members had on various topics. Today, we are blessed to present the insightful conference entitled Supreme Master Ching Hai's Courageous Work for the World, Part 3 of 12, On Between Master and Disciples, given in English on December 15, 2020. Later, of course, it come back again and again, and we are more careful. You know, we leave a long rope, and we always have somebody stay around. Yeah, we don't let her free even inside the yard because she will use a tree even. She climb trees and jump out of the fence if the fence is near the tree. She did that. Even in Hong Kong, also same thing. And then trap outside of the fence and come back. <laughs> 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 And then we have to cut the fence and let her in. Huh? This is the dog that I love. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's just not one time, two times, ten times, dozen times, it's forever times. Aww. Yeah, and even they made the very strong fence with the, with the bending tip like this so she cannot uh, climb. Yes. She dig. Yes. Even they made cement deep underneath. I don't know how she does it. She climbed trees, whatever she does, she went out, you know, because we blocked all the holes already. We see men with extra fence, everything. And then she didn't go out all this time, and everybody fell, you know, the ones who took care of them when they came inside the big garden, so they can run, you know. Big, big garden, and I, even one acre, yeah? So they can run up and down, in and out, around it, and do what they want with it. Yeah, rest under the trees and the bush and hiding and whatever until meal time and call them they come out. The other group come out. This group difficult. And when they see the girls they turn around. <laughs> you turn. <laughs> they come say hello and then you turn, run away. <laughs> so somebody who is trusted, you know, has to come and take them out or wait until they want to come. And then put the the robot on them and take them home. But otherwise cannot. Not possible with that girl. If you let her free she runs. She run somewhere, she will come back, but you never know. I, I, I worry about this before. I keep saying, don't let her lose. 
and they feel secure already because all the hole that we know underneath cement, everything blocked. But I guess he's been digging it for a long time already, <laughs> waiting for the, yeah, that day to escape, two days ago, one day ago. Ah, the day before yesterday. You see how I forget days and nights because I work day and night. I work very deep in the night and I forget what, what. If I don't have the telephone, that remind me what day or <laughs> if I don't have the document that you keep sending me every day, yeah, for the show, which say what day for what show, yeah, then I would not know uh, the day from the night. Yeah. All right, now. I think that the story is done because I just want to explain to you so that you don't think that I don't give my dogs their house or their comfort. No, no, they just like to stay next to where I was working, the desk. They know I'm working there. So they lay under there. And the other one also, you know, compete with each other whenever it's empty. Then the other one replaced immediately. So the other one just has to give it. <laughs> then good love has to go like lay on the, the floor or something. Now you know, okay? Yes, in case you think I hide it from from you, some secret or something. <laughs> yeah, there's no secret in my life, except I need to be away, to be alone, to, to be more concentrating, yeah, on the, on the world problems, and to secure more peace and more vegan population. Understand me? Yeah? I would really like to be with you, be out there, you know, go out, be free like everybody, because... Uh, it's not always good to be alone, you know, doing everything myself. I'm not that big and that strong, you know, right? Yes. Yeah, moving furniture is uh, is my favorite, of course. <laughs> but, <laughs> but but it's not like I can do it easily, okay? Yes, master. Yeah. I do need some muscle, <laughs> some muscle. That's why before I keep telling you a joke like I need a husband. Remember that. Yes, yes, but remember also, it's only a joke, okay? <laughs> I don't want any of those, okay? I don't want any of those. Okay, now, uh, uh, it's not only the earthquake, but uh, normally Taiwan, you know, in uh, recent months, it should be typhoon season, yeah? Yeah. And mostly it's big, 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 and a lot more damage than this year, nothing. Yes, Master. Earthquake, also nothing. Of course, people were scared. Who wouldn't be scared, huh? Yes. yes. I remember long, long years ago, I was in Taiwan. Uh, I mean, in my beginning, yeah, I was in Taiwan. And I, I lived in a very high building, I mean, four or fifth floor, a long time ago, somewhere in the middle of Taiwan. One of your uh, bro- sister and brothers had an apartment. And they use uh, half side of it, and the other rooms were empty. And they let me stay, because at that time I was penniless. I still am, except if I want to use money, I can. Yeah? I, I can have access to some. <laughs> and there was an earthquake also, you know, very strong, very strong. I, of course, didn't know, because I had no phone, no... No television, no newspaper, nothing at that time. I was a true monk, okay? I only eat was given to me, and the brother and sister prepared it for me. Yeah, it's not much I need, just a few pairs of clothes and a meal, and they prepared it. And they let me stay in that empty apartment. I originally refused, because I, uh, at that time I was having this... Uh, Behind the temple, you know the uh, the room that they put uh, uh, the ash of the deceased. Yes, master. Yeah. yeah, in Buddhist uh, tradition, people die, and the Buddhist followers they uh, put their deceased uh, ashes, and the deceased uh, ashes they will put in the temple. You know, they have a, a special room built for those things because they believe that if the deceased can hear the sutra, you know, which the monks uh, recite every day, then their soul would be liberated or go on a higher level, if not yet. So I stay in that room. Yeah, it's okay with me. The dead don't bother me. It's the living (laughs) (laughs) that I should worry about. (laughs) And then uh, they don't bother me at all. And uh, very, very simple, very small room. 
But it's not so very tight. I have one bed, and that's enough for me. That's all I was, and the rest are just for the dead. Yeah, like you're living in the cemetery, you know. Yes, ma'am. But very lucky because it's a room. You have a roof, you have walls, you have a door. Yeah, to close, and you have a bathroom next door. I mean, just a simple square toilet, like a wet room. You know, you can shower on top of the toilet. I was very lucky and happy there. But then your sister begged me to go there. She say it's better for me, and also a blessing for their house, <laughs> for their not yet a used house. So after a while, you know, they convinced me, so I moved there. And then that a change of a diet as well, because when I live in that uh, dead people ash room, they put it in a. An urn, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, they put all the ash in the urn and then put it in there with the Buddha's statues. So we live with the Buddha and <laughs> and the dead together, or well, both are dead, <laughs> <laughs> and they don't bother me. Yes, and then at that time when I was there, I, I live only on sesame and brown rice, sesame salt. Yeah, and brown rice. But when we, when I moved to the, uh, to that apartment, I I changed to a normal diet. Yeah, because that's what they provided. Yes, I was easy. I'm easy, you know. Whatever happens, okay, <laughs> I accept it as long as it's not harmful to my spiritual practice. And then one time, another sister uh, offered me another apartment. Oh, this is not the apartment that the earthquake happened. I just remember now, and another apartment on the fourth level, or fifth level, very high anyway. Yeah, with the uh, escalator, you go up and went up and down, or or is a walking, and and the earthquake so strong, it must be six point at least because it swayed the whole building, you know, oh. back and forth, back and forth. Oh, <laughs> I I didn't know where to run, so I just sat down. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of running because it's too late, it's already happening, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was more or less like the only one in the whole compound. The compound is comprised of many, many buildings, big, big, and tall like that. It's a new, new development, and n- nobody moved in there yet. That's why they offer me <laughs> that apartment. <laughs> they also did not move in yet. Or maybe that's their second home or something. And then, wow! Well, at that time, I really understand what earthquake means. Yeah, I never experienced that before. Only one time in California, but I was already on the aeroplane, and then the earthquake happened under me. You know, wow. and I can see because the airplane wa- wasn't very high yet, and I can see houses and things moving below. Huh? It was in uh, Gilroy, yes, in California. Anyway, somewhere I saw that, and uh, I think I think the the pilot also informed us. Yeah, that there's a earthquake. The airplane wasn't high yet. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes, just uh, took off. Yeah. Oh, so uh, it's all right. Taiwan has often. Taiwan is on this uh, tectonic. Plate area, yeah. yeah. It's a very long plate, yeah. And Taiwan is on one part of it, so it sh- should be often like that. Mm. I'm sure the whole island shook, huh? Because it was a very big one, and oh my God! All right. Uh, does that answer your question? Yes, Master. Thank you. All right. Any other question? I was going to read you the story actually, but then your brother. You know, inform me. You know, by writing that we have uh, questions. <laughs> oh. So I say, all right, you are more important than the book. <laughs> oh. mm, I thought maybe in bad times, you know, in not too very uh, good time, I read you some stories, yeah, to make you feel more relaxed. For the change, change is as good as the rest. That's what people say. Yes. Yes. And also, it's not just for you because after this you will broadcast it, and many people will enjoy. Yes, yes mm. master. Your question is also good. People also enjoy because they would also want to ask. Even maybe they don't know how to formulate, or they cannot ask me because they cannot. Yeah, 
But for you, you can. You see? Mm. Yes. Because I would know, and then I would uh, ask you, and you, I can answer you. Uh, this is also good. Yeah, I like the way we're doing it. I like the way you arrange right now. <laughs> that every time if we want to have a talk, or if I want to talk to you, you're always ready. Yeah, because if I want to talk to the outside disciples, yeah, or even outside uh, Supreme Master TV team, they are not always ready. They're everywhere. Yes. Maybe one or two person, or maybe a group of a couple of people, but I never know where they are. <laughs> and you know, I don't have anybody's uh, info like their telephone, their Skype, their email. These are all your jobs. Yeah, <laughs> you do it better. I never know how. <laughs> Okay, uh, if I answer your question already, you know, like this is good because you're always ready. Yes. 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 Attentive viewers, we appreciate your company for today's episode, entitled Supreme Master Ching Hai's Courageous Work for the World, Part 3 of 12, On Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is multi-part series on ancient predictions about our planet, Prophecy of the Golden Age, Part 124, King Jayabaya's Vision of the Queen of Peace and Justice, right after noteworthy news. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May the blessing around bring you joy and upliftment. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.